another fun video. We are here at Disney Springs, and right now there is a pop-up shop at the co-op that is dedicated to the Disney Cruise Line. So instead of having to plan a cruise, you can come here to Disney Springs, go to the co-op, and get yourself some nautical Disney merchandise. I also heard that there is a new balloon. If you guys don't know, it is an up themed balloon. So we're going to be on a lookout to see that balloon. And for dinner, we're going to be eating at City Walk. Come join me, let's have some fun. Here is the up balloon that I told you guys about. It is $17. $14 for the usual Mickey or the Frozen Balloons. Well, they are an integral part of your Disney experience. When I was a kid, it was like 50 cents for a balloon. Now, oh my goodness, $17 for a balloon versus 50 cents. It's a cute balloon though, don't get me wrong. I really liked how the a balloon had the house and then the balloon itself where all the balloons that made the house float. I thought it was really cute. Super expensive though. But like, yeah, no, that was expensive. That's crazy. I can't get over the fact of how expensive that was. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now, after having my mind blown by how expensive Disney balloons are now, like, why? Why is it so expensive, guys? It's just a balloon, it's gonna last you a week. But we're at the co-op now, we're about to go in, and I cannot wait to see all of the Cruise Line merchandise. AC, I feel so nice, it's 97 degrees out. But already we got some of the Disney Cruise Line merch. I love the suitcase set. It is so cute. So the small suitcase is $159.99. And the large one is $200. But they are super cute. I 100% want a set of Disney suitcases. I'm one of those. But also, look at this Dapper Day dress. I think this is my favorite so far. We'll go into the Dapper store to get a closer look of it. And then, we got some lounge flies. This one's super cute, super nautical. It is $75. Let's see what the print on the inside looks like. Okay, the inside isn't anything special, it's just a blue. You good? Yeah. I'm not whining, right? Yeah. But this also is supposed to have a spot for a water bottle, I don't know what water bottle you could possibly fit in here, but there's a pocket for that. And then there is this lounge fly. Let's see, how expensive is this one? This one is $70, so $5 cheaper. And Okay, here you go. The inside of this one is pretty cute. The inside is in multiple color and it's the letter is DCL for Disney Cruise Line. And that's really fun. I also like these, these straps. These fabric straps will be far less hot on your shoulders than the straps on this bag that are uh, this fake leather. So. I think I'll probably go with this one. Especially also, it looks like you probably fit a bigger thing in these pockets. 
on this bag the pockets on the side are, looks like more for design than actual use oh okay here we go so it's well labeled so over here is the Disney Cruise Line collection. We're going in. And oh my goodness, look at this dress, it's so cute. I would 100% wear this even on like a normal day. But they have the famous buoys from Castaway Key. Cruise ship. Oh look, it's a surfboard. On the surfboard, there's a Mickey on it. The other surfboard has a sunset. There's another Mickey. This Mickey right here has to do with the scuba location on Castaway Key, where they have statues of Disney characters at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, over here is that super cute dress. And the dress is $60. Holy macaroni. They also have a t-shirt. The t-shirt is also $60. But this is that shirt. It has a cute little knot at the bottom. Why is this shirt as expensive as a dress? Can someone explain that to me? Oh, there's this cute little hat, the sea is calling. Also love how Disney is doing these collections where like families can match. Let me guess. $50? Why is the men's less expensive than the women's? Like what the heck? $29 for this little girl's dress, which is so cute. And then for your son or your kid, uh, $34.99. What I really like is the Dapper Day dress. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. And they have it in little kid sizes. So moms, your daughter can dress as your little mini me. That is so cute. So the adult dress is $128, super cute. The fabric isn't as heavy as some of the other Dapper Day dresses. Let's look at the back and see if there's any added detail on the back. There is not, there is a zipper on the back. Oh, and I like how the anchors have a Mickey on them. It's so cute. I think it's my favorite Dapper Day dress so far. And let's see what the little mini me dress is priced at. $78. I mean, I recently found out that I'm an extra large in kid sizes. But... I don't know. Could I make the extra large work? And then you have this matching bag. And the bag is $40. Like, guys, this outfit. This outfit is most definitely a super preppy look. And I love anything preppy, so I'm here for it. And of course, the collection isn't complete without some ears. Oh my gosh, these ears look so cute with the Dapper Day dress. $29.99 like all the other ears. Oh my, look at that, isn't that adorable? I really love uh, these more like classy Disney looks where like you can wear Disney whenever you want. I also like this windbreaker. This wind windbreaker is sixty dollars. So it's Disney Cruise Line. Gosh, I have a height problem going on, but I like how the hood has some flowers on it. It's really cute. The uh, spot that says Disney Cruise Line is embroidered. 
But I have most definitely noticed that the women's stuff is the price is so much higher for the women's stuff than the men's stuff. I mean, like the men's shirt is a Hawaiian shirt, and usually Hawaiian shirts are really expensive. But the Hawaiian shirt is less expensive than the women's Hawaiian shirt. Like, why? That's not fair. Come on, guys. What do you got? Why do you get all the good stuff? And for a good price. Are us girls really that gullible? There is this button down shirt that's a little bit more subtle when it comes to Disney. It says Disney Cruise Line on the pocket. And it is $55. There's nothing special on the back. The fabric is um, really thin, but I think the fabric that they chose, you would probably be really hot in it. It's just that type of like stiff fabric that even though it's thin, it's still gonna make you feel hot. They also have some baseball caps. Baseball caps are $27.99. But they have this white with the blue. They have white on white. Navy blue and gray. And then oh yeah, this trucker hat. Oh my gosh. Some of this stuff is really high up. We are not thinking of vertically challenged people here. Okay. Oh, this is cute. This would be a cute cover up. And it says Disney Cruise Line. And it is $42.99. Oh, this is cute. This is an autograph book or a notebook. Okay. Oh, this is a notebook. That's cute. You have the anchor at the bottom of this page and Disney Cruise Line since 1998 on this page. Super cute. Oh, and the price of that is $18. We also have some frames. This frame right here is $24.99. Oh, and this is a heavy duty frame. And then this one right here, made out of wood. I really like how this has um, all of the weather flags for ships on the Disney Cruise Line insignia. And. This one is $29.99. All of these nautical merchandise is super cute. I love nautical preppy things. And so like this right here, if you are like me and you need everything to be super preppy, come to this um, pop-up shop and you will be able to get some Disney merchandise that you will really love. Disney has not announced the exact date that this pop-up shop will close, but they are saying uh, around mid-September the pop-up shop will close. But while the pop-up shop is open, you'll be able to shop all Cruise Line merchandise, as well as get to see some of the Cruise Line models. So I'm going to walk to the entrance of the co-op, and I will show you one of the models. So, while this pop shop is open, you will get to see some models of the Disney Cruise Line ships. And the one that I am walking up to is the Disney Dream. So, the Disney Dream is one of the ships that has the water coaster. And if you look at the deck, one of the pools is shaped like a Mickey. This one, this pool right here is the adults only pool.
but the Disney Cruise Line is an amazing experience. I've gotten the chance of going on two cruises and both to celebrate my birthday and I would very much so love to be able to go on another Disney Cruise Line ship. Also, in the display, you get to read some facts. Uh, the length overall is 339.8 meters. The speed of the Disney Dream is 23.5 kilonauts. The passenger count is 4,000. And crew count is 1,481 cast members. <laughs> so those are some cool facts. So another thing that's going on at Disney Springs is during the month of May, it's Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. And so here at the co-op and the art gallery, they are showing you some of the Asian, Asian Pacific Americans that are artists. So this man is Tyrus Wong and he works for Walt Disney Studios for three years between 1938 and 1941. And he worked on Bambi. So apparently he came up with the color scheme of the entire movie, of the forest. And so he was placed next to this, these artworks. He didn't make them though. The artist is Jackie Hong. He passed away on December 30th, 2016, at 106 years old. Tyrus, that was impressive. Good for you for living that long. And then another one of the artists. Guys, I'm really bad at pronouncing names, but uh, Miss Fawn. Fawn Vera Sunthorn. She worked on Rhea and the Last Dragon, Frozen, Zootopia, Moana, Ralph Breaks the Internet, and Frozen 2. She is from uh, Thailand. And oh my gosh, she started at the age of 18. That is impressive. Good for you. And of course, she is next to the Frozen display. And then this right here is uh, Mohit Kalyan Fur. I'm so sorry, Mohit, if I mispronounce your name. But he worked on Baymax. Frozen and Frozen 2. Tangled, Tangled Ever After. So like he is one of the uh, lighting guys, visual effects. He also worked on Ralph Race the Internet, Moana, Bolt, Meet the Robinsons. Oh my gosh, I love Meet the Robinsons and Chicken Little. And again, he is next to the Frozen display. This artist right here, uh, they are Greg Vicentainer. Look at this. So the scene. It's the Little Mermaid, but look closer. There's Ursula. There's the pipe. There is a hidden Mickey with hidden Mickeys in it. Oh my gosh. Right here it says Kiss of True Love. Oh, right here it says Ship. Oh, this right here says Dingle Hopper. Thank you. And there's a Dingle Hopper in her hair. And her name. This is amazing. And this is 
forty dollars. And then there's a stitch one. The stitch one does come in the form of a postcard. And oh my goodness, I love this so much. There's Stitch, Willow. Just can you spot all of the hidden things this artist put in here? Like, oh my goodness, I am in love with this. That is gorgeous. Oh, and the postcard is six dollars. So like if you can't afford to buy one of the larger paintings, which are usually around like $50, you can get a postcard and frame that. Disney is also going to be showing off some uh, Asian Pacific Americans who are amazing, amazing artists. So once we come in, the first person you're going to see is Willie Ito. So Willie Ito is an amazing man. So during World War II, he was one of the many Japanese Americans that were put in an internment camp. And he, as a child, while in the internment camp, taught himself how to draw in order to pass the time. And apparently he drawed in the margins of mail order catalogs. Uh, to create flip books of bouncing balls and other characters walking. And later he ended up going to San Francisco City College where he studied art. After graduating, he sent his portfolio to Disney just because he wanted to see the inside of the studio. Not because he wanted the job, because he wanted to see the inside of the studio. Got the job, worked on Lady and the Tramp. When Lady and the Tramp was over, Ito left Disney, but in the 70s he came back as one of the merchandise creators. So he created imagery for toys, collectibles, coloring books, comic strips. And I think that's amazing that he learned how to draw while in the tournament camps. And after he left Disney in 1999, he decided to spend the rest of his life letting the American people know what it was like living in the tournament camps. So he wrote, uh, he helped to write books, the illustrations, with his friend Shigeru Yabu. And the books are Hello Maggie and A Boy of Heart Mountain. So CityWorks is right next to the MBA experience. And I am so excited to give it a try. Get some food, I'm hungry. So if you want to look at the menu, this QR code is food. This one is uh, beer and this one is beverages. So I ordered a cup of their chili for my dinner and the chili comes with cornbread. And this meal is 13 Weight Watchers points on the green plan. Okay, so first up is the chili. It tastes, it tastes smoked. Kind of tastes a little bit of bacon. There is a little bit of spice. Uh, it's good. I wouldn't order it again. I would try something else on the menu. But as far as chili goes, this is good chili. And then let's try the cornbread. The cornbread uh, is nice and moist. It does have that graininess that cornbread does usually have. Um, there's nothing special about the cornbread. Uh, it is good. I have always enjoyed cornbread ever since I was a little kid. Um, but like, if you like really like comfort food, um, this chili and cornbread is a good thing for that. 
Uh, but again, I would rather try something else before I would ever reorder this meal again. So we're eating the chili a little bit more. Um, I am really wishing the chili was a little bit more chunky. Uh, the chili is more like meat soup than chunky. <laughs> The flavor's good. I just, you know, want to chew my food. Oh my gosh, what a fun day. I really, really love the Cruise Line pop-up shop. Those clothes, those mugs, merchandise. Oh, it was so cute. My mind was blown, though, with the balloons. It makes no sense to me why anyone who want to spend that much money on a balloon. However, it's an iconic uh, souvenir. It's an iconic souvenir that you can get here at Disney that people really love, especially kids. When a kid sees a balloon, they, they must have that balloon. And City Walk. City Walk, I honestly didn't finish the chili. The more I ate it, the more I didn't like it. it I would never order that chili again. I think it was gross. The cornbread was good. Chili was gross. Um, I would try City Walk again though. My mom ordered uh, a chicken sandwich and she allowed me to have a bite of that and that chicken sandwich was very good. So if I eat at City Walk again, never ordering the chili again. And then like, the atmosphere city walk, it's very loud and chaotic. I most definitely prefer the surroundings of homecoming where it's nice and relaxed than city walk, but I wanted to give city walk a second chance. And with that, I'm off. Please be sure to hit the like button be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so be sure to follow me on there for some updates on the blog. Also, in the comments section, put down what's your favorite place to eat at Disney Springs, because there's so many options here, and I wanna know what's the best place to try, and I will try that. So, thank you. Oh, so very much for meeting D-Row with me. Bye!